We begin at 6 with a new Space and Technology Center opening up at Vandenberg Space Force Base. It's designed for greater public access. The News Channel's Dave Alley is live on the base. Dave, a special opening was held earlier today. That opening did take place a few hours ago and a lot of excitement here. But you know what? Vandenberg has already had a Space and Missile Technology Center for, for many, many years. It's a museum where people have been able to learn about the long and fascinating history of rocket launches here at the base. However, that facility is uh, behind the gates, making it hard for people to get to. But now the building behind me and the entire 88 acre property that was once the home of an old golf course is now the new home for that center. Vandenberg's brand new Space and Missile Technology Center opens its doors. Today is a special day. When we started the museum project 30 years ago with the intent um, to, to bring Vandenberg's message to the community. Something Vandenberg can now do with a new facility that's known as SAMTEC for short. It replaces an already existing one that's located on base. It was always the intent to be able to find a place outside of the gate that we could open to the, to the public. And now the base has with the center at the site of the old Marshallia Ranch golf course that closed in 2017. This former golf course area, this clubhouse was, was, was uh, land and facilities that were we already owned, we already had, they were in hand, so why not update them, repurpose them. The clubhouse has been reimagined into a large naturally lit museum featuring artifacts, photos, models, and displays. SAMTEC is uh, a collection of of the pieces that tell Vandenberg's story, um, past, present, and future, uh, to inspire the next generation of guardians and airmen and, and community members. A key goal of SAMTEC is to create a STEM educational center that provides learning opportunities and experiences for local students. Knowing that in the future there will be you know, school buses of kids that come through here and you, know, you never know, you'll inspire a handful of them and they'll be, become the next um, you know, chief of space operations for the Space Force. Also in the future, there are plans for additional features including walking and interpretive trails, a campsite for base families and an area right here in the front of the building to watch the base in action. We actually are planning to do an amphitheater type facility that we could use for special events and launch viewing. Other plans call for a STEM rocket launch pad and an astronomical viewing area. So there is much more yet to come. The framework that we've built is a, is a multi-year plan that, um, that allows us to incrementally grow this. And this is just the beginning of a, of a long roadmap of building this center out into the experience that we want it to be. Yeah, it sounds like it's going to be a great attraction. Now, the new Space and Missile Technology Center is open to the public, but there are no set hours to visit. Folks are going to need to make reservations through Vandenberg Public Affairs. Reporting live on Vandenberg Space Force Base, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley.